Kevin Durant is one of the most complete scorers in history. The guy can do it all. He can hit threes. He can attack the rim, but his signature shot, his unstoppable mid-range jumper is what makes him totally unique. A dazzling display from Kevin Durant, 43 points. Throughout Durant's remarkable career, NBA shooters have fallen head over heels in love with three-pointers, and they've increasingly stayed away from mid-range jumpers. Look at James Harden's shot locations. He basically only shoots at the rim or beyond the arc. Now, look at KD, who fills it up from everywhere. Conventional wisdom in the modern NBA is that mid-range shots are foolish and they are becoming a dying art. And the data tells us why. Since 2013-14, NBA mid-range jumpers have yielded just 0.82 points per shot. Not good at all, especially compared to three-pointers, which are at 1.08 points per shot over that same span. For virtually all NBA players, a three-pointer is just a better choice. However, Durant is different. He is so unusually efficient in the mid-range that the conventional wisdom simply does not apply to him. Kevin Durant's homecoming uh -oh. night here in D.C. And Jan Mahinmi needs two breaks after that. Since 2013-14, he is the only player to average better than a point per shot when taking a mid-range jumper. 99 players during that span have attempted at least 1,000 non-paint twos, and nobody has been efficient as Durant. And this season, after returning from his brutal Achilles injury, he is averaging 1.09 points per shot from the mid-range. Durant the catch, splash. It's been awesome to see Durant pick up right where he left off. He's still one of the world's best scorers, and these insane mid-range numbers this season just prove that. But it gets crazier. Durant is putting up these dominant numbers despite intense defensive attention. Over the same time span, 95% of his mid-range tries have been contested. According to Second Spectrum estimates, if an ordinary NBA player took the exact same mid-rangers that KD has taken since 2013, they would convert a measly 36% of them. But Durant has made nearly half of them. And folks, that's what makes Durant's mid-range game so darn special. It's unguardable. Why? KD's special blend of length, skill, and touch enable him to create shots at will, while his uber-high release point prevents even the most athletic defenders in the league from being able to block his shots. He's one of the best players that <clears throat> I've ever played against, that this league has ever seen. His ability to handle the ball, shoot the ball, you know, make plays at his length, at his size, at his speed. And it became the toughest matchup that I've had to deal with in my entire career outside of Tracy McGrady. Don't forget, Durant plays like a wing, but he's basically a seven footer with a seven foot five wingspan. He can be perfect as a defender. Put yourself in the right place with a textbook contest and you still won't bother his shot. That's why Durant doesn't have to rely on scheme or assist to get open looks. He can create an efficient look virtually any time and any place he wants to. And that's a big reason why his teams are always great on offense, especially in late clock situations. When the clock is winding down, Durant's teams can just feed him the ball and let him go to work. Chances are KD will get them a great scoring chance. Now the clock's winding down, they look for Durant. Under five seconds to go because he can create a shot and shoot over anyone. I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. Y'all know who I am. I mean, he's Kevin Durant. I promise we tried. <laughs> we didn't roll over. Durant's mix of size, handles, and jumpers is unlike anything we've ever seen. When he starts attacking the rim, defenders have to protect the paint, but then Durant will just stop on a dime and teach you a classic mid-range lesson. But these mid-rangers are more than just regular season gimmicks. The mid-range becomes even more important in the playoffs. Over the course of a long series, opponents make adjustments to counteract schematic advantages, but there's no adjusting to a guy who can manufacture a bucket at will. Durant's ability to use the entire floor has helped him win two finals MVPs as a member of the Warriors. Durant, count it, and the foul! 
Beverly hit him, and Durant with a chance for a three-point play. If you was a coach, what'd you tell us to do? Thank you. <laughs> to take, to, we tried everything. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we, we we tried everything. We had we had several different coverages for KD, and they didn't work. <laughs> we do, yeah, like like sometimes sometimes you come across special people, and it doesn't matter what you send to them. It's no scheme. It's no def It's no nothing. If KD's moves sometimes feel like they belong to a bygone era, well, maybe it's because they do. Check this one out. He backs Jeff Green down in the post before draining this gorgeous baseline fadeaway. Look familiar? It should. It's a move Michael Jordan used to call the windshield wiper, and MJ tortured defenders with it, especially later in his career. But just like MJ, Durant is no one-trick pony. He can also dribble straight into his mid-rangers. He's arguably the most gifted pull-up shooter in the world right now. And in case you think that's hyperbole, check out Steph Curry's reaction here. Curry knows about great shooting, and he's downright giddy as he watches his teammate get to a clean mid-range look. This is Durant with a mid-range jumper pure again. There's a reason Durant won those final MVP awards. He was the best scorer in games that also included Curry and LeBron James. Now Hood picks him up on the switch. Shot clock at five. Kevin Durant way outside, delivers! Sure, the mid-range game has fallen out of favor in recent years, but Durant's postseason triumphs vault him into a prestigious group of mid-range shooters who have shown up in the league's biggest moments. Durant on the pull-up, nails it. Dating back to the 2013-14 season when the league added its player tracking system, Durant has been the NBA's most dominant mid-range force. Of the five best mid-range shooting seasons during that era, Durant personally owns three of them. And he's on pace for another one right now. Here's Durant out top. Thompson switched on to him. It really doesn't matter sometimes. There's a reason Durant has been in the conversation for the best player in the world. His handles and his size enable him to create shots at will. His unbelievable touch enables him to knock them down. And all of this is especially important within the context of a league that continues to trend toward three-point shooting and away from mid-range scoring. Because when games matter most, Durant has proven that those mid-rangers are still among the most valuable tools in the NBA.